As a student, one of the questions that I'm always asking myself is what is the best note taking app? And today we are talking about the 100% free best note taker that I think is best for you for taking notes this semester. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Matt and I'm a Canadian high school senior. And today we're going to be talking about Microsoft OneNote and why I personally think that it is the best free note taking app that you could use this semester. Also, only a small percentage of people that actually watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you like this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Now let's get right into Microsoft OneNote. Okay, so firstly, I'm gonna talk about the design of this app, how it's actually laid out. Then I'm gonna talk about some of its key features. Next, I'm gonna talk about what I personally love about it and why I use this during grade 11. And then I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I would change about OneNote. So when it comes to a note taking app, a key part of the design is the organization of the notes themselves. And Microsoft OneNote has what I like to call a folder hierarchy system. And basically what I mean to this is that you start off with your notebooks, just like you would in real school, you know, you have your notes for your different classes. And then once you go into your notes, you have dividers. And then once you're in those dividers, you have the notes for your different classes. And over here at the bottom, you can see that you can add a section or you can add a page. And this really makes it uh, similar to what you would normally find if you were using paper and a regular binder. The sections are comparable to dividers and the pages are just like the notes that you would have in it. So it makes it really easy if you're transitioning from using paper to going online because this is basically the same thing just online. And something else that I really like about the design of this app is that the notes are automatically dated for you and that makes it really easy to find your notes in the recents tab. So you can just see all your different notes that you've ever gone through uh, really neatly organized right here by date. And just having this is so convenient because you don't actually have to worry about writing down the date or what time you changed it. You can just clearly see when you took your notes and this makes it really convenient for studying. And another really nice feature that comes in OneNote is this search tab. So if you click here, you can just go through recent searches and you can actually search uh, different notebooks or different pages and you can find things. For example, let's say I wanna find anything on feminism, then it's gonna pull up everything that I have on feminism. So you can see here on this Mac, I have uh, this note right here. And in this note, you can see all the sections where the word feminism occurs. And something that's really nice about this feature is that it not only, you know, searches through different notes that you take, but it actually pulls up the different pages that have uh, these words or phrases in them as well. So you can see here that I have theory one, which is a note on its own uh, talking about psychoanalysis. And then over here, you can see that I have another note that is not attached to the previous one at all. But because it mentions in this note what I searched, this makes it really convenient and easy for quickly searching for all of your notes. And let me tell you, you may not even be using this during the semester, but trust me, when it comes to exam time and you need to find all those key features, this comes in really handy. Another key element that comes with this design of this app is the fact that they are infinity pages. So as you can see, I have this note here and it goes from here all the way down to right here. But the cool thing about OneNote is that you can just click anywhere and you can begin writing because the pages are infinite and you can just scroll down and you can keep typing as much as you'd like. And finally, with this design of this app comes the clear and simple and minimal design with very little friction. As you can see here, there isn't a lot going on. You have your standard formatting, inserting, drawing, and all those different key features that I'll be talking about later, as well as your notebooks, your notes, and that's basically it. There are no frills. There's nothing that you have to deal with. It's just simple and clean. So if you want something that will just quickly take down your notes and you don't need to do any extra thinking, this is a really good option just because of how simple and clear it is to get started. Next up are the key features that are in OneNote. So first up, you have your standard editing that you can find at the top here. And now these are just your standard essentials for editing Word documents, such as your font, your page layout, etc. And what I really like about the way that OneNote has it set up here is that it's really simplistic controls that aren't really overwhelming at all. Next up, you can insert uh, many different elements into your notes, whether that be tables, files, pictures, screenshots, links, 
really anything you can add it into your notes and what's great about this is that there's a lot of variety when it comes to one note. you're not really limited and you get a lot of choice whether you want to add a lot of elements to your notes or if you want to just have some bullet points like i have over here the next key feature that is in OneNote is the draw feature and i really like this feature because it gives you the ability to combine handwritten notes with your typed notes and with this drawing feature you get a lot of the basic tools that you would expect you get markers highlighters different sizes different ink colors really just all the basics for when it comes to handwriting your notes you have that in one note to combine the worlds of typing notes and handwriting notes on one note. You also of course have selection to select whatever you've drawn and also a text mode in case you want to switch back. And the final key feature that makes OneNote a really great option is the fact that you can access it from the internet. And having access to OneNote straight from the internet is really convenient, especially if you know you want to print something out or if you need quick access to your notes, especially in school. This is just really convenient and with OneNote it's extremely simple. And the great thing about the browser version is that you get basically all the same editing tools that make it extremely convenient to make edits to your notes on the fly. And as you can see here, the notes automatically update. So like I said before, you can always rely on OneNote being synced. And another great feature when it comes to OneNote's sharing is that it makes it extremely easy for you to send your notes and share it with others via email or however you want to send it to them, like a link. And this comes in really handy, especially for exam season when we're all collaborating and we all need to just share notes to get effective studying done. Sharing your notes is really important and OneNote makes it extremely easy for you to collaborate and share your notes with fellow students. So what do I personally love about OneNote? Well, first of all, like I mentioned before, is just the ease of use. There's not a lot of fluff. If you want to get started on OneNote, it is extremely simple because it's just super clear and there's not really a lot of fluff that you have to go through when getting started. Next up is the device and cloud sync, which makes it really easy to access your notes from everywhere like I showed you before, because you can always rely on OneNote to have your notes available when you need them. Finally, come all the useful features that really enhance your notes and makes it easy for you to get started in taking notes such as some of the things that you can insert and even some of the draw features this just really sets it apart from taking your notes on something like microsoft word or google docs you get a lot of useful features that honestly come in really handy especially as a student and finally OneNote is completely free you don't have to pay any money to use it and that's a great price. price. However, by no means is OneNote a perfect app. There are definitely a lot of flaws. The first one being that there are no unlimited sections. Once you create your notebook and then you create a section and then you create a page, then you're put onto your notes. And while that could be you know, good for people that are just starting out, maybe you want some further organization where you, know, you have your units and then within your units, you have subtopics that are actually inside of your units. You can't do that with OneNote. It's once you create your unit, then you have your notes and that's it. So unlimited section creation could be really good for further organization if you want to go from you know, a unit and then again, have some dividers up here so that you could further organize your notes. Next up, templates. Even though OneNote is really easy to use, you know, you can just pick it up and you can get started. This does mean that the notes look pretty bland. As soon as you open it up, it's a blank page and that could seem a little bit daunting for people just getting started. So having templates that you could just start from won't make the notes seem so bland. And the final thing that I would change is further development into the drawing section that could even rival good notes and notability. The things that makes those two apps stand out, as somebody that has used an iPad for taking notes, I definitely recommend you checking out that video, um, is the fact that you can take notes with a pen so easily and it just works. With OneNote, you can do it, but it's not the best, especially when compared to apps like GoodNotes and Notability that are built from the ground up as you know, handwritten note taker apps. Having some better integration with taking handwritten notes in OneNote could actually make this a really serious competitor for when it comes to using this on computers for typing out notes, but also on iPads for writing out notes with something like an Apple Pencil. And in a nutshell, that is why I think that OneNote is the best note taking app for students right now, especially when we're all moving on to that online learning. If you're just getting started with note taking apps, then this is definitely a good option because of 
the simplicity, the ease of use, and especially the exceptional convenience that it just brings to you. Not to mention that OneNote is extremely easy to set up, especially if you're already in the Microsoft ecosystem. Like for example, I use Outlook and that just makes it so easy for me to connect that same email address to my OneNote. And finally, it's completely free, which is not something that can be said for other note-taking apps. For me, OneNote provides a lot of value and if you're a beginner, it's a great option to get started with online note-taking. And just like Microsoft OneNote could provide you a lot of value, if this video has provided you any value, it would really help my channel if you left a like and even subscribed if you want more videos just like this one. More videos are on the way, so hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss them. I'm Matt, and thanks for watching.